Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a custom ROM for Galaxy J7 2015 also known as the J7OOH which is my model we're going to be downloading the custom ROM Lineage OS 14.1 uh, over here you can see the links uh, the links will be given in the description below and you can just click on this uh, any of them and then you can download them uh, as I said and it will be running Nougat which is 7.1.2 uh, the 8.1 is not that stable that's why I'm suggesting you to download this and this is how it looks but I have applied another launcher on top that's why I have the swipe one and the notification panel obviously I'll show you much more of that later on and these are a few details of the custom room just like the build number and the build and uh, have to have your device as rooted and if you don't know how to root your device you can check it out on youtube otherwise leave a comment down below and i'll try to upload a video related to rooting in the j7 2015 it's not that hard even it's not that easy and uh, don't blame me if your mobile gets break methods that i'm going to show you right they're very easy they are not that hard and obviously this custom recovery and the custom rom and all of this they will obviously delete most of your files so it's better if you take out take a backup in the recovery that you're using ui just shut it down but make sure you back up your files and to back up the files you have to go to your recovery and i'm using the twrp recovery also known as the team win recovery and to go to recovery i think most of us know and if you don't know it's using the power button the volume up button and the home button hold it both three of them together it actually is custom so don't worry about that because I installed another ROM just for you guys but I feel like this is the best ROM ok so I am using the recovery team win v2.8.7.1 I am really sorry if you cannot understand clearly uh, I tried my best and yeah, I hope you guys subscribe so that I can get a better camera and I can help in showing you uh, so what you can do after that is take a backup of your file if you want to take a backup So if you don't want to take a backup so just select backup and select all of these four first ones Which is the boot cache data and the system and just swipe it for backing up I have already done my backups and after you have done your backup you find them You'll find them in the restore app and always choose the memory card while doing the backup over here in the storage selection choose micro SD card I'm going a bit faster. I'm sorry because I just want to be done with the downloading the ROM so that I can show you much more features of the ROM uh, and then from here select the micro SD card as the restore option from here restore storage micro SD card ok and then you find your backup I have done two backups of the lineage OS and the Samsung stock UI so here are my two backups I can just select it after that uh, after doing your backup just select wipe advanced wipe Select all of the first five of them system, internet storage, data, cache, and Dalvik cache. Select all of them and swipe, and they'll format your device. So you don't have any OS or operating system at the moment. And this is the moment when your device will get bricked. So please make sure you follow me properly. Then, after wiping that, you just come to install. Select back and home. Uh, after wiping, you might not understand. Maybe you might restart the system, and when after you restarting it, you might get bricked. So just come back to the recovery and select install, and go to the place where you download your ROM. And you mostly have to download it in your SD card. So just select storage and SD card. I think if you know English, you can do it very easily. And if you don't know, just follow the way I'm following. There's a best choice. Um, after that, select the place where you downloaded your custom ROM. I have kept it in one of my files. Which is here. I have the linear OS v1, and I have the open gaps because this ROM doesn't have any Google apps. But you can just download the Google Play Store from the browser. I'll show you later on. Then you can do it uh, in that way. Otherwise, you can just download the Google apps if you are scared if something might happen. So just download the Google apps. Um, there will be a link below. I'll, I'll see if I can give the link. And uh, I don't think you need that if you understand how to use the OS. Select Lineage OS and just swipe it and they'll format your device once again so that it's clear and then just, just flash the ROM. That's it. After that, they will say you to reboot your system and if they don't say, just select Home, choose Reboot and go back to the system. And for the first time when you reboot, uh, you have to be a bit patient because obviously it's the first time you're rebooting, right? So it's going to take around 10 to 15 minutes, which it took for me. It depends upon your device. It might even take maybe 5 minutes, it might even take 10 minutes. But don't worry, just try to be patient, don't think your device get break 
because at that moment when it's rebooting if you just hold your button or if you just open your battery or if you just close the system you're going to have issues that is going to you're going to break your device and after it's rebooted you'll come to the swipe screen or otherwise you'll come to the setup just set up your device after setting up your device a few suggestions that i would give you is open settings the first thing if you want to see how much fast this device is go to your about phone select the build number select it five times and then you'll see your developer options is open which is um, the last place in the settings select developer options and most of us tech geeks might already know this that you have to go and reduce the animation at the moment for this rom i haven't seen any differences with the window animation on so i have turned it off and for the animator sorry for the animator options i've also selected off because i don't see any changes but for the transition option which i like because look it's a bit faster over here even when i'm doing this you know in that sense i kept the transition to 0.5 it looks smooth um if you don't want to if you want to keep it that off it's up to you it will be like it, it will be like you know like rectangles caching into one another but it will be no issues it's going to be much more faster than the one uh, the way i'm using and that's the first thing you have to do when you're using the rom because it's going to be so speed after that uh, you can just check your settings again once again if you don't feel if you don't feel that i gave the correct details and everything however um, after that the next thing i would suggest is go to your display for example you might face a issue with your notifications while they come up your mobile is going to reboot and this is due to the reason of ambient display select ambient display and turn it off it will be on over here uh, even from the notification bar if it's not there if it is not there in the notification or the status bar then you better turn it off the way i showed you if you on it whenever a notification comes your mobile is going to reboot and so that if for example your notification comes about five minutes each five minutes interval it's going to reboot and that's the worst thing to happen so i have that closed and this is a proximity wake which is like when your mobile is, mobile is closed and you just wave on front of it it's going to open up and that's the best feature according to me okay uh next thing we have few other options adaptive brightness obviously um we have the screen saver we have ambient display and let me just show you yeah, this is very important for Samsung devices, obviously, because we're going to have burn, burn in uh, because of our AMOLED displays, if you know what do I mean. Uh, that's it. And after that, you can select live display where you can uh, choose automatic, which is the best option because it changes the color of your display when it is night. It turns into orange, so there's a blue light filter. And it's morning, it keeps back into the blue light, which is better, easier to see. And you can even color calibrate according to however you want. I mostly kept keep it at 30 when it's night because look, it's very dark and it's easier to check it out at night uh, rather than in morning because this is the lowest brightness that the device can go at morning. The lowest brightness, you see. So maximum brightness a lot. I feel like when you go outside, it's enough. It's better than the Samsung's uh, stock brightness settings and all of that. Um, just let me know if you guys want to see any updates with this. ROM because I've already used it for more than a week and this is the most smoothest ROM I have used in G7 up to now. I feel like this is the best choice. Now I also, I'll also try to give a review when I'm using this one around like one to two months. After one to two months so make sure you subscribe and uh, yeah you might know you might ask about the storage. We are I'm left with 7 GB after downloading most of my important apps. You know, I downloaded two games just like Free Fire and uh, the Shadow Fighter know what that game is i just downloaded it for fun uh you can play pubg over here very smooth you can play need for speed no limits very smooth gta san andreas very smooth um all of the high-end games are very smooth even you can try the call of duty mobile uh, which i've registered already uh it's still it's not available for the j7 uh, after i downloaded pubg and need for speed and gta san andreas i'm left with at least six gb of storage and that's the best thing i can show you i'm sorry because i actually have deleted PUBG just before this video, uh, my own reasons. Uh, I have Free Fire at the moment and uh, Shadow Fighter, which is better uh, because I play Free Fire a lot. And just I have another channel where I play Free Fire. If you want to see me playing, just leave a comment down below. I'll send you a link for the video channel. Uh, next up, yeah, that's it. And then you might want to, uh, you might be thinking about the memory, right? 
I actually am also the person who checks out YouTube for a lot of custom moms and everything. In that sense, I feel like everyone should do a review like me that I'm showing, that showing the memory, showing the storage. Most of the reviews, reviewers or the custom ROM users, they don't show that and it's really headache because you have to try it yourself. Uh, yeah, we we have total memory of 1.3 gigs, but uh, at the moment it's 244 MB is free, but uh, it's very fast over here. But there is an issue with RAM management in this ROM, I feel like, because when I open PUBG in my background, for example, I open PUBG, right? And you go back to PUBG like this, just click on the recent apps and go back to PUBG, it's going to reload the whole game. And that's a huge issue. But whereas for small games like, uh, I don't have a small game, uh, for example, the small game like Free Fire, which is around 500 MB, uh, you just recent, you select recent and go back, it's going to be smooth because lower RAM. Whereas Netflix with no limits, uh, it's also very good. But PUBG is the worst because RAM management issue, I guess. But if you do it immediately, just like, like this, you know, it's going to come back. But whereas if you just click and then go back to the game, it's going to have a issue with that or have a problem, you know. However, this is a browser app in the ROM and uh, this ROM because it being Android 7.1, it supports multi window. Let me show you what I mean. You have to, by the way, you have to select the multi window from the settings app. Okay, so you can select multi window from settings. After going to settings, go to buttons, which is just below. Go to buttons, and because our mobile does not have backlit, you can just turn it off because P7 does not support backlit. However, over here, there are a few extra buttons. For example, in the power menu, when I select power menu, I can get power off, screenshot, airplane mode, and the volume. I selected all of them actually according to my own wish. So just like that, you have to go for the recent apps. Wake up device, answer call, control playback, volume, long press. Uh, yeah. So you just have to go here and so after just below the power button you have to go below the home button and select the recent button long press action just select split screen okay it will turn on the split screen system just go, go to an app select the split screen and they will show an, uh, m m many other apps over here which is supported so after doing the split screen settings you can just hold on and you can go to your the browser for example just go there and you'll go and have both of them running at the same time but Make sure you select that window, then you can swipe that because that's the system, the way it works. Because Android seven point one, we have a split screen system. Uh, for example, even if you have YouTube running over here, right, and you just swipe it up, the YouTube is going to close, obviously. But whereas if you have, so, that's like a best thing that I found from this ROM. Just uh, through the split screen system for the YouTube, and just click on the home screen. And the YouTube will show the red color up here on the status bar and the video will be running in the background for example for music that's the best choice another thing I want to show is the camera app over here I have made it setting that is going to brighten up the screen automatically when it comes to the camera from the settings app oh my god okay so the settings app it's nothing like the Samsung app it actually does not have the HDR mode it does not have any other settings other than not have the HDR mod it does not have any other settings just like uh, lens blur and all of that but you can download that and just leave a comment if you want to if you want me to show you how to do that and just go to settings and you might get few extra features like have a recording at 1080p at front and back camera and advanced option just has about power shutter maximum manual exposure and the brightening brightening of the screen so if I just close that my camera app it's going to stop brighten, brightening the next time I open it you know just let me know in the comments if you want me to show a new video where you can download the best camera for this ROM and yeah I will try to give another review for this ROM after using one month uh, at the moment it's 12th of August I try to give it in the next month if possible so just subscribe to the channel and I hope I can see you soon and if you have any questions leave Drop them in the comments down below and I'll upload a next video answering all of your questions. And thanks for watching and see you guys soon if you upload the questions soon.
there are no issues with the ROM other than the speaker issue. I have left a link down below. Just check it out and just flash it just like I flashed it right now. But do not do any backup. Do not wipe. Just flash it. Just go install and select the file and then just swipe it and flash it. And just, just reboot back to the system and the speaker will be working fine. If you want me to go even test for the speaker and test the whole ROM every setting, just let me know in the comments down below. I have to set up my setup. So that's it, I guess. Uh, so see you guys soon. And this is Lineage OS 14.1. Bye. Have a great time. And I'm Arif. If you didn't know that. Uh, Alright. Bye.